welcome everyone let us study the structure determination of gingivarin gingivarin is a terpenoid the natural resource of gingivarin is a ginger which is a popular ingredient in number of recipes ginger has a medicinal value it can be used in cup and cold let us study the structure determination or structure elucidation of gingivarin gingivarin the class of gingivarin is monocyclic sesquiterpenoid monocyclic means it contains one ring and sesquiterpenoid means it contains 15 carbon atoms its molecular formula is c15h24 occurrence it occur in ginger rhizomes it is isolated from a ginger oil properties Gingivarin is a liquid having a distinct flavor. That's why it is used in recipes. Its boiling point is 134 degree Celsius. It contains three isoprene units joined by head to tail manner. As it contains three isoprene units, the class of gingivarin is sesquiterpenoid. It gingivarin is optically active. It contains chiral carbon atoms. naturally it acquires in liver form uses along with medicinal values it is used in cosmetics and fragrances it shows antiviral anti tubercular and anti fertility properties then we see the constitution of gingivarin this is the structure of gingivarin molecule let us study first is molecular formula determination of molecular formula the molecular formula is c15h24 then detection of unsaturation in gingivarin there are three double bonds therefore we have to prove presence of three double bonds out of that three double bonds these two double bonds are in conjugation that is next is presence of conjugated double bonds then number of rings presence presence of monocyclic structure gingivarin contains one ring that is it is a monocyclic in nature then dehydrogen study that is carbon skeleton of gingivarin then position of double bonds and finally structure of gingivarin is confirmed by synthesis let us study one by one determination of molecular formula from qualitative and quantitative analysis and by molecular weight determination the molecular formula of gingivarin is c15h24 as the molecular formula is c15h24 when we calculate from the molecular formula the site of unsaturation is 4 in this structure also we see the site of unsaturation is 4 3 for double bonds and 1 for the ring therefore site of unsaturation for gingivarin is 4 then detection of unsaturation presence of three double bonds upon catalytic hydrogenation gingivarin molecule adds three hydrogen molecules and forms hexahydrogingivarin that indicates presence of three double bonds gingivarin there is addition of three hydrogen molecules and we get the hexahydro gingivarin presence of two double bonds in conjugation gingivarin forms dihydrochloride with hcl that indicates presence of two double bonds when it is treated with twice hcl we get dihydrochloride salt one hydrochloride is required for that conjugated double bonds there is a 1,4 addition reaction and another HCl molecule is required for addition of that double bond. Therefore, as it requires two HCl molecules, the there is presence of two double bonds and these two double bonds must be in conjugation. The another evidence is that gingivarin, when reduced using sodium and ethanol, it forms a dihydrogingivarin. This also indicates double bonds are probably in conjugation sodium in ethanol there is addition of h2 molecule 
there is a one four addition and therefore the product form is dihydrogingiberin that also indicates two double bonds are probably in conjugation the another evidence is that gingiberin shows optical exaltation while dihydrogingiberin is not shows optical exaltation this is because in gingiberin these two double bonds are in conjugation therefore optical exaltation is seen that is increase in refractive index but in case of dihydrogingiberin there is a double bond at that position and at that position after addition of hydrogen molecule and these two double bonds are in isolated position therefore dihydrogingiberin not shows optical exaltation that also indicates in gingiberin two double bonds are in conjugation Let's see then on next evidence gingiberin forms an adduct with maleic anhydride which indicates presence of conjugation this is a diene and uh, there is a addition of maleic anhydride with that diene and that formation of adduct indicates in gingiberin two double bonds are in conjugation gingiberin has the lambda max value 260 nm that also indicates these two double bonds are present in one ring that is it is a homo annular diene and all these evidences confirms that two of three double bonds are in conjugation then number of rings present in gingiberin the molecular formula of gingiberin is c15h24 it contains three double bonds therefore we have to add six hydrogen atoms after addition of six hydrogen atoms the formula becomes c15h30 and which has the general formula cn h twice n and that is the general formula for monocyclic compound therefore gingiberin is monocyclic in nature then next nature of carbon skeleton dehydrogenation reaction when gingiberin is heated with sulfur it undergoes a dehydrogenation and forms the product gadolinium that is 16 dimethyl 4 isopropyl naphthalene this is 16 dimethyl and 4 isopropyl naphthalene and that reaction indicates that such type of carbon skeleton is present in gingiberin then next ozonolysis reaction upon ozonolysis gingiberin gives acetone lavalinic acid and succinic acid the gingiberin molecule after ozonolysis we know that uh, at the time of ozonolysis the molecule breaks at double bond therefore the breaking takes place at these points and we get the product acetone lavalinic acid and succinic acid and for such products are also obtained by a known compound that is bisaboline and the carbon skeleton of gingiberin is like this same products are obtained from that known molecule therefore carbon skeleton of both compounds is same and this is the carbon skeleton of gingiberin then we have to see nature of carbon skeleton conformation of carbon skeleton such type of carbon skeleton we have to confirm by following reactions hexahydrogingiberin when dehydrogenated with palladized charcoal gives 6 para tolyl 2 methyl heptane and which upon oxidation with chromic acid gives acetic acid oxalic acid and terthalic acid that is the reaction hexahydrogingiberin upon dehydrogenation gives 6 para tolyl 2 methyl heptane this is 1 2 2 methyl 3 4 5 6 6 methyl 
and it is the paratolyl group therefore six paratolyl two methyl heptane which upon oxidation with chromic acid products obtained are acetic acid oxalic acid and terphthalic acid and formation of that product also confirms the carbon skeleton of gingiberin then dihydrogingiberin upon oxidation with KMnO4 gives keto dicarboxylic acid which upon oxidation with sodium hypobromide forms tricarboxylic acid the keto dicarboxylic acid must contain a methyl ketone therefore the structure of dihydrogingiberin is assumed and the reaction can be formulated as suppose that is the structure of dihydrogingiberin the dihydrogingiberin is obtained upon reduction of gingiberin. Gingiberin, when treated with sodium in ethanol, dihydrogingiberin is obtained. There is a 1,4 addition reaction and such type of product is obtained. And therefore, um, that dihydrogingiberin, when treated with KMnO4, we get keto dicarboxylic acid. The molecule breaks at double bond. When it is treated with sodium hypobromide, tricarboxylic acid is obtained with loss of one carbonate. Then we see the position of double bonds. Gingiberin forms an adduct with methyl acetylene dicarboxylate. This adduct upon pyrolysis gives 2,6-dimethyl octa, 2,7-diene and 4-methyl phthalate. The reaction can be explained by assuming the correct structure of gingiberin. Suppose that is the structure of gingiberin. When it is treated with methyl acetylene dicarboxylate, then after addition reaction, such type of addition product is obtained. The addition takes place at that position. There is a, a such type of dimethyl reaction is there. And after pyrolysis, we get 2,6-dimethyl octa-2,7-diene and methyl-4-methyl phthalate. This reaction confirms the position of double bonds and the structure of gingiberin. Formation of that product indicates the double bond is present at this position. Then structure of gingiberin is confirmed by synthesis. The reaction starts from para-anisyl magnesium bromide plus methyl heptinone. After addition reaction, we get such type of product which upon dehydration gives this product. There is a dehydration reaction OH and EH. There is a removal of water molecule. When treated with sodium in ethanol, we get the reduction product like this, addition of hydrogen molecule or atoms. Then when treated with acid, after that it is treated with methyl magnesium iodide, the Rignard's reagent. It is treated with anhydrous oxalic acid, dehydration and finally we get the gingiberin and this is the synthesis of gingiberin. The structure of gingiberin is confirmed by synthesis. Then we see the stereochemistry of gingiberin. Gingiberin contains two chiral centers. The acyclic carbon chiral center has been stereochemically related to that of dextrocitronyl and the cyclic chiral center to that of alpha phenylentrine. Hence, Leo gingiberin has the following absolute configuration. This is a dextrocitronylyl, that is the asymmetric carbon atom in a cyclic system. And the asymmetric carbon atom in the ring, the configuration is Leo alpha thaledrine. And therefore, that is the stereochemical structure or stereochemistry of the gingiberin, which is levorotatory gingiberin. Thanks for watching this video.